building. First at four, Stephen Hernandez tells us what happened and if emergency responders even feel safe. I don't know that anyone's ever ran into the building, but never into a public safety building. Cleveland DMS Union President Mark Barrett is hoping for solutions and answers. This after a car ran into the Union building last weekend, leaving a gaping hole right on Lakeside Avenue East. I'm sure you've seen the, the photos, so it, I'm sure, created a loud noise. The organization made a post on Facebook where you can clearly see the damage that was left behind in the incident. They also explained that they reached out to the appropriate city departments, hoping to get a guardrail installed in the future. This has been the union's central request. The response? The city's head of capital projects actually reached out and said that that was something that they're looking into. So it's my hope um, that they fall through and install a guardrail. I tried reaching out to the head of the Office of Capital Projects, James DeRosa, but I've yet to receive a response from him or his office. Barrett says the crash is hardly the first incident like this in Cleveland. I, I think this raised an eyebrow with them. One of the councilmen actually wouldn't leave during a fire drill because he was worried about getting plowed over in front of City Hall. So this is something that is even on council's radar. Barrett also adds that some people may be displaced from their offices for some time. As repairs and recovery continue at the EMS building, Barrett hopes the city can make small steps to keep people safer. If you put the guardrail in, I hope that it, you know, bypasses that those cautions. In downtown Cleveland, Stephen Hernandez, 19 News. Now you're 19 first.